Hey guys, welcome to Code the Unseen. Master SQL syntax, operators, CTEs, and subqueries in this session. Detailed notes and practice question is in the description below. So let's get started. Before jumping on to writing SQL queries, quick question here. What's the most common mistake people make in SQL interviews? It's jumping straight into writing queries without understanding table structure. Bhai, if you don't know your data, how will you fetch the right information? Here's how to avoid that blunder. Understand the table structure, then understand the data. After that, jump on writing SQL queries. The structure of the table can be understood by describe uh, command. So what describe command does is, this command shows you the table structure, column name, data type, constraint and all that jazz. So here you can see worldwide gross income is a varkar value and you can't sum this. So this is the kind of information you get when you try understanding table before jumping on writing SQL. You can think it uh, as a recipe before cooking, right? Now let's understand data. So this command shows you uh, majorly the first 10 rows of a table. By looking at the data, it seems like it's giving you information around movie name, year of production and the production company and another information like which language it is available in and what was the worldwide income, which country it was published and etc etc. So now that we know the table structure and data, we are ready to play SQL cricket. Let's take business challenges and hit those for a six. Imagine you are an analyst for movie streaming platform and business teams ask you for three things. Movies released in 2018 and 19. Countries with more than 10 movies. Top three countries with highest movie count. Let's knock these out one by one. As a task one, we will pick movies released in 2018 and 19. Select all from movie where year is 2018 or 19, right? Where clause is like a filter. It tells SQL, hey, I don't want all the movies. Just give me the ones that matches my condition. In this case, our condition is 2018 and 19, right? And in here plays a vital role. It acts as a shortcut wherein you can list your condition. So it says like, give me the list of movies which were present or produced in 2018 or 2019. So now let's execute this. So without where clause or a filter, you would have received all the movies from uh, Shole to Avatar. And that's not what business wants, right? Now let's jump on to the second query where we, uh, we were looking for countries with more than 10 movies. So let's see how it will work. Select country count of title uh, as movie count from movie and group by country. Having more count greater than 10 and order by movie count. Let's break it down. Count distinct title. Here gives you the distinct title count against each country which is actually a distinct movie count, right? So if you'll uh, see here, without count, if you'll execute this, you will receive Italy, France, Japan, and other countries, right? Whereas Belgium uh, within France has 12 movie count. But if you'll apply distinct here, and then execute it, you'll get to see that Belgium, France has actually 11 movie count. But due to duplication, it was giving you the count of 12. Now let's understand group by. Group by country is just uh, like it's grouping the data by country. If you want to group it based on year and country, what you can simply do is you can write year uh, beside this. And then execute it. Oh my bad. It should be present here as well, right? And then you'll get to see that uh, all the movie count is grouped based on year and country. 
now but this isn't asked in this particular question so we'll remove here from that now comes having having is exactly like a where clause but it generally works on grouped data so where clause works before group by whereas having is applied after group by to filter the aggregated data or filter the data based on aggregated columns and then comes order by order by movie count is uh, by default in ascending order which means uh, lowest to highest but if you want to sort it in reverse proportion or descending then you just need to apply desc which stands for descending and it will sort the uh, country based on movie count descending it's uh, like ranking ipl team based on number of matches each team won and now let's jump on to the third question which were the top 3 countries with highest movie count for this we generally uh, need to just remove the having count and then limit it to 3 let's say you just want to rank the top 3 teams who have performed or won maximum matches in the uh, ipl and then limit it to top 3 that's how it's working it's uh, generally counting the distinct movies and based on uh, the country with highest movie count we have ordered them right in descending and then we'll just have to apply limit and this will limit the data to top 3 without limit you would have received all the counts uh, and all the country names here now it's time to learn what we call masala of sql operators these let you filter calculate and compare data trust me they are game changers there are many type of operators but in today's session we'll only pick logical operators arithmetic operators and comparison operators which are the most used ones we have already seen some of the comparison operators for example we saw the list of countries which have movie count greater than 10 so greater than 10 is a comparison operator if you want to see a uh, list of countries which have movie count greater than or equals to 10 you can simply apply this and you will get to see all the movie count uh, for countries greater than or equals to 10 if you want to apply this for lesser than equals to you can simply do this and you will get only the countries with movie count less than or equals to 10 and if you don't want the list of countries with movie count exactly equals to 10 you can simply apply this and you will get the output with a uh, movie or the countries eliminated with movie count 10 so if you can see here the data is already sorted in descending and we don't find any of the country with 10 value it's not like there isn't any country you can just simply apply equals to and you can see these countries were eliminated previously so this was about comparison operator now let's jump on to logical operator picture this uh, you need movie where the country is india and the duration is greater than 30 minutes or the country is usa and duration is less than 30 minutes so for this you can write this okay so here is we can simply say that Uh, we have called for title duration and countries these three columns only and countries is not the exact column so we will change this with country and you will find that and is all the condition must be true and or here is like any one of the condition either duration is greater than 30 minutes and country is india or the duration is less than 30 minute and country is usa give the data for that like for these conditions only else eliminate all the data while giving the output that's what we are saying to sql so here in we understood and and or and here means all the condition must be true or means any condition can be true all right let's talk about like like is kind of detective of sql i call it exactly detective because it gives you uh, that sort of feasibility Uh, with identifying pattern within the data instead of exact matches so uh, let's look into it let's say i want to see movies or the list of uh, movies which start with 
super so you can just simply apply my bad here it is country right so you can let's see what else we made a mistake here there is no column with name movie right exactly so this is the case so if you'll see you have received only the movie which start with title super if you want to see the movie which end with title super you can just simply remove remove this percent sign and bring it to front you'll get this if you want to see uh, the list of movies with exactly five character you can apply five underscores within these inverted commas and you will only get to see the list of movies with five character so these are the three uh, use cases of like function and now we have seen our uh, comparison and logical operators now we'll look into arithmetic operations or operators right so what exactly arithmetic does so for example you want to sum two different values present in two different column let's say 3 is available in column a and 2 is available in column b and you want to sum them you can just simply write this and execute it you'll receive 5 to subtract you just need to apply the sign of minus to divide you can put that uh, up like division sign and you have you will receive the exact number if you want to find the remainder this is the modulus sign which generally gives you the output and remainder we looked into logical operators like functions and then we saw arithmetic operators and the comparison operators so these were uh, majorly the type of operators which you will use in your day to day life now let's uh, level up because we are going to talk about cts and sub queries these are like cheat codes for cleaner and more powerful queries. So within CTs, what exactly CTs does is, uh, let me quickly show you the syntax of it. Okay, uh, I have this query and I want to use this query within multiple uh, use cases. And just to simplify this, I will only take country India. Okay. And I will quickly apply a bracket here and I will give a alias to this particular table and CT start with function uh, called with let's say Indian movies as this and if I have to call the exact Indian movies table I can simply utilize it in this way consider it as a playlist of a spotify you can create it once and enjoy it multiple times when we'll uh, understand about joins we'll go into the nitty gritties and understand that why exactly cities are more optimal then uh, we'll quickly look into sub queries these are also known as nested queries so these are queries inside other queries that's why we call it a nested query and think of it as adding a secret ingredient to your biryani right so what you can do is select all from uh, let's say the table name was movie and I want where here is equals to so let's uh, call it this way that business as or give me the query which I can execute and get a list of movies for the latest year okay so what you can do is rather than changing the move uh, like year every time by manually writing it you can quickly apply this here right this is a sub query with within equals to you applied a bracket and you simply wrote select max year from movie what this is doing is from this particular table it's fetching out the maximum year and once you will execute it you will receive that year is 2019 right let's first execute this independently and see the output of this one So within our table, we have maximum year of 2019 and we simply shortlisted the entire data for 2019. If you want to double check it, you can simply apply distinct here and write year. This subquery dynamically fetches the earliest year, keeping your query future proof. If you have watched till here, you nailed it. Quick recap. We understood the table structure before writing query. We mastered logical, arithmetic and comparison operators and leveled up with CTEs and subqueries.
Remember, sequel is like cricket strategy. Once you know the rules, you can play smart and win big. So keep practicing and stay curious. You know where to find the practice material just below in the description. If you found this helpful, dosto, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Drop your question in the comment. I love hearing from you. Till then, keep coding the unseen. Thank you.